the life as we were talking yes. about this so how you can uh, manage both your life and uh, your work and your life you keep the balance and manage them better yes so here we I will introduce to the user many of the features because they got the many of features I, I won't tell you all of the features I will highlight Okay. This feature may be more one. useful for, for the users. Mm -hmm. Okay, the first one is a, cr a cloud storage. It's not. Uh, it's a common usage for the user. They just seen the Java as the USB in cloud. Yeah, okay. <laughs> really easy to store your data. data. But now there's many of the cloud service not only provide the for only for the storage purpose. Mm -hmm. It has an other, just like. Uh, they have support multiple platforms because they might trust their user maybe use the Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS, Android. Okay. All of these kind of so device can be supported by Dropbox. Mm -hmm. So, so it means in uh, each of the device you can easily to access your data on Dropbox. And the third one is they offer the file sharing functions. Uh, in the past, in the past. Uh, People want to share their data maybe by the USB. Yeah. It, it or online instant message. Yeah. But you got to add you as my friend. But now it's much more easy. Yeah. You just get. Uh, I just give you my link. Share. And link. you can download it. Yeah. So a share link. You, share you, can link. Yeah, you can provide me the link, and I'll just click on that link, and I have access to the file, and yes. I can download it. Yes. It's easy for sharing. And uh, about the team sharing, because uh, you team a team uh, might be some material need to share for co work. Mm -hmm. So they they offer a uh, team team folders that every team member can access the same place for their common access data. Mm -hmm. Yes, and the next is the preview cloud file directly. Okay, um, in previous or in other cloud service. If you want to see what the file contains, okay. you need to download it yeah. and use your application to open it, like the Adobe PDF. Yeah. You need to download and use the Adobe application to open, open it. and see the content. It's not convenient. Not really, no. <laughs> yes, you, you wait a lot of time to waiting for the download. Yeah. But Java provides you more convenient way. It's just you just uh, have the internet uh, login to your Java Click the data, and you can see the data from your website. Well, so easy. you can see the, the content actually. Just on, yes, there. online previewing. Online previewing makes sense. Okay, so next is file offline access. The usage of the offline usage, like uh, of offline access, uh, like if you want to access your data, mm -hmm. but you don't have you have the restriction restriction of the your internet. Okay, but like you're a businessman, yeah. you take a plane, uh, you take an airplane to another country. But in the airplane, you don't have the internet, internet yeah. but you still have to finish your job. Yeah. So you just put all of the file need you need to editing, you need to access into a folder okay. and set the folder as the offline access. Then you can edit just uh, in your local. Your so laptop on your laptop while you're on the, on the plane, you yeah. can work, you can write, and uh, after you get the destination, you get the uh, internet back. All of the update will upload it to your cloud automatically. Automatically. Okay, so and, uh, next, search content of file. It's really easy. Uh, traditionally, we will search the file by file name, yeah, extension, yeah, but people now they know not can cannot remember all of the file there are so many files so many yeah. but they remember the content of mm -hmm. the file yes mm -hmm. so uh java offer a function that you can type the text inside the file they can help you to search for the files so if you want to search for a certain file you know the content so you can write a certain uh, sentence of the content yes. and it will directly find you the file yes and uh, in the advanced feature, they offer you to find the, the content in the PDF file. Oh, also in the PDF, you can yeah. in the PDF. Wow. Yes. 
and I have heard from the internet, they also want to discover some features like they can recognize the text in the picture. Really? Yes. Wow, yes. that's so amazing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so the final one is the uh, file recovery with multi versions. Because they have integrated with the third party editor, mm -hmm. like the Office Online, mm -hmm. so uh, you might do the editing of online, okay, right? Yeah, yeah. But if you want to back to one day ago, how how do you, you 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 didn't have any copy of that, right? Yeah. But they offer the multi version function, yeah. so a file while you editing and save the file, mm -hmm. the file will keep one version in the cloud. Oh, okay. So you can back to any time to the one before changing. Yes. Okay. So it's all about the the the, the key features of the Dropbox mm -hmm. and the, what this feature can bring you. Okay. Let, let's see. Uh, because the Dropbox have integrated with the uh, multiple uh, cloud services, not only cloud service like Adobe. PDF. Yeah, oh, okay, yes. okay. many 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 company like, like uh, Gmail, Microsoft, Adobe. Uh, okay, why what benefit us? Well, uh, Dropbox cooperate with them. Just like you can preview and you editing your cloud file online. Yeah, like you can edit your Word PPT mm -hmm. online because you got the Microsoft online supported. Okay, makes sense. And you have as uh, the signature for your PDF, okay. you got the Adobe PDF online, mm -hmm. you can just add the signature in your PDF and uh, send it to another one, it's very easy, it can uh, connect all your link, all your workflow together yeah, online, yeah. Not you don't need to uh, download the file now and uh, finish your job and just upload, don't need yeah. this kind so of... So this can be done also uh, all online and web based? Yes. Okay, and uh, the second one is the file co cooperation. Uh, okay, you not only can edit in the file online, it can also provide you a function that many people can edit in one file at the same time. Okay. So I, I say it's a file cooperation. File cooperation, it makes sense. It's very yeah. <laughs> Just like we do in this PowerPoint, yeah. you can add, help me to to edit, edit in yeah, some yeah. content that uh, you think it has uh, some problem or your suggestion and I can see that and get, I can reply you immediately. Oh. So, so, so real very, time, everything is real time. Easy for our teamwork, right? Yeah, very easy, very convenient actually. So we are working on the same project and we are working from different uh, places. Yes. You can be on the third floor, I can be on the fifth floor, yes. vice versa. And we are, we are working on the same project. No same need time. to sit together. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, we can see uh, the si the final part is uh, access the cloud file directly via the integrated application, like the Gmail. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to send uh, a, a attachment via Gmail, you yeah. know they have the some limitation for the attached file, oh, yeah. like the thirty megabytes limit. Yeah, limit. But with Dropbox, you can just select the file you want to attach from the Dropbox icon in the Gmail is a lit file and they will uh, it will help you to attach the file link in your Gmail okay. so they will won't have any limitation for your attachment right yeah. and the receiver got your mail they just download the file from the Dropbox mm -hmm. and it won't uh, expand his uh, mail, mail space yeah and the message was sent through Gmail yes Okay, so here I arranged some uh, user story for okay. using the Dropbox. Like the user, like they very, really enjoy their life, so they can record record the life and share the great moment to every every his friend, her friends. Yeah. And the the first part is uh, he can upload the photos yeah. right after he take the picture. Which Do means that if you take the photo right now, it can be uploaded immediately? Yes. Wow. So if you buy a cell phone, you don't need to worry about the storage, storage space. Yeah, yeah. You can buy the cheaper one. <laughs> <laughs> but with a good camera. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but with a camera. Yeah. Okay, so the, the second one is uh, uh, you can share your idea by 
comment or reply on the Dropbox file. Every file in Dropbox, they offer the function for anyone can comment on this file. Oh, okay. So even the picture, you think it could You great. can comment on the picture. On the picture. Okay, you want to get more information about a file or the report, you just comment on that and I can reply you. Okay, so easy for the, the, the file measurement. Okay, the third part is the <coughs> share files easily. Uh, like I said, uh, uh, Dropbox provides the share link. Yeah. I just give you a share link and you get my files. Yeah. It's easy. And the final is the share links make file collection more convenient. If you have the activity, go outside. Yeah. And uh, everyone is a photographer because they have cell phone. Yeah. They take a picture everywhere. So after the activity is finished, how do you collect all the data back to your? It's, oh, you like, can use the kingdom math. Oh yeah. And okay. create a share folder and everyone to upload it. Yeah. File and the, for the Dropbox solution, they offer the share links. You got my share link. Everyone got my share link. Yeah. They can upload the data to the share link. Oh, so you will send us the, the link to everyone for example as you say we are outside 10 people taking photos from different angles yes and then we want to upload it in the same folder you will send us the share link and, and then we will all upload our photos to in the same folder and section. i will cut all the photos yeah, and yeah. i will do you the can decide. post processing for yeah, yeah. photos yes okay that's very convenient yes and the second if uh Dropbox also can help you to make your work more efficiency. Mm -hmm. Like they can help you to quick access the file across devices. Just like I say, if your device uh, has installed the Dropbox client, client side application, mm -hmm. because they have offered for multiple platforms. Yeah. So every device has this uh, application, you can add the latest data. Okay. Yes. And the second call operation editing online for a smoother teamwork. Uh, Microsoft uh, Office Online of yeah. offer you this function, and also the Dropbox has the feature called Paper. 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 It's okay. it's a space they use to editing the same file with multiple user. Okay. You can put your your thoughts, oh, your yeah. image, your video, just on the same same page, so everyone can see that at the same time. You can just just do it at the same time, okay. not in the same room, but in the same and time. The same. <laughs> yeah. And the uh, file offline access, uh, you can access the file offline. Oh yeah, you mentioned that also earlier. Yes. So about the data management, uh. If you're using the Dropbox, you can store all your data mm -hmm. to the same space. It's easy for measurement. And also for your mobile device, you can uh, back up your photo to the cloud. Okay. So if your cell phone is missing or stolen, okay. don't worry about it because all of your data is in the cloud. They are back, you can back up them. For the, whatever you had on your phone, even if you lose it, everything is back up. You just have to buy a new one yeah. and download the file. <laughs> Okay. Download the file, you have the same phone. Yes. And uh, the third is the restore files from version history. I think it's much more important for nowadays because the, it's easy for editing the file from uh, online. Okay. So you might or you have some mistake on the editing so you can recover, recover the file anytime. Oh, yeah. So.